what's going on everybody welcome to the red room the underground world of kink dominatrixes gore snuff performances and uh and so much more uh you heard that right folks snuff snuff performances uh there's an entire dark dark web world uh of debauchery and uh and the one of vecchio is gonna take us deep deep into the belly of it folks lovesick is not a book for the faint of heart i'm telling you this right now al what's going on how you doing are you ready for this what's, what's happening um this was definitely a exploration of sergio's browser history and i'm i was for it my browser history <laughs> yeah. how'd you, how'd you, how'd you get access to that i got hacked uh, you said red room you said snuff mm -hmm. <laughs> you said debauchery <laughs> And I you feel, know what? I feel like, I feel like, and Luana, we're here. I'm here for it. You're here for it. I am most definitely here for it. Uh, man, so folks, we're here today with an advanced review of Love Sick number one by Luana Vecchio. Uh, she's on story and art English adaptation by Edward. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly. Uh, Ciao. Um, Originally, uh, Lovesick translated from uh, from Italian. Folks, FOC. FOC is this Monday, October the 3rd. Dropping Wednesday, October 26th. Uh, and then uh, I think we got the diamond code. We got the diamond code for that for that bad boy somewhere else? No? Maybe? Do we have the diamond, diamond code. code for that bad boy? I mean, what diamond code do we not have? <laughs> Yeah. There's, there's all kinds of diamond codes. There, there, there are a few there, uh, but we're gonna get into all the different covers, um, variants, all that good stuff, uh, just a little mm -hmm. later on. Uh, folks, Lovesick. Lovesick is a book that, from the very first page, will have you questioning, will have you asking yourself, uh, just what exactly have I gotten myself into, but in the best way possible, folks. Uh, so I liken it to uh, you think think saw meets eight millimeter, meets uh, meets the hub. Produced by A twenty four, that's my pitch, baby. Saw, saw saw meets what? Eight millimeter. Okay. Meets the hub. Okay. You know you know you know the hub. What's the now? Uh, what's the hub? Mm, you you you're the prime member of that one. <laughs> You got what would be tier. what would be the red room equivalent of the hub? I feel like something like that would probably be leaked on X videos, not necessarily. Mm. <laughs> the, the what, what you know about X videos? What oh. you know about X videos? Wait, what did I'll you produce, just say? I'll X? produce A twenty four. This is that kind of book. Oh, folks. for sure, A twenty four does the hub. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. This is a uh, very much an adult book, folks. Uh, so let, let me hit you with a with a with a brief synopsis. Uh, with Lovesick, we got a main character who goes by the name of Domino, or as her uh, or as her girls refer to her as Mother. Mother, uh, she is the head dom of an underground torture slash murder slash sex club uh, where incels and simps as they're uh, called, uh, volunteer themselves to be the next uh, tribute for everyone to see on the dark web live streams. Uh, whew, whew. Hell. Mm. Hell. And, and even uh, just scratching the surface, like if mm -hmm. you, this is like the sexy version of um, Ed Piscor, Piscor, Red Room, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. as gross as that series was, which I absolutely loved. This is just like the sexier, more aesthetic version, and like I was absolutely here for it for every every character, every unnamed character, um, 
visuals, uh, this this easily a contender for a series of the year. Um, I'm right there with you, Al. Uh, this man, this this Lovesick is a book that's gonna be a uh, is gonna be talked about. For sure. I guarantee you. Once it drops, when it releases. It's going to be on, on on the tip of everybody's tongue. Uh, so issue number one, folks, uh, very much a teaser, uh, a small taste of what is to come, uh, just who is Domino, why does she do what she do? Uh, uh, to <laughs> what is that how you wrote it down? <laughs> I, I, how, else, how, else, how else do you put that? Why does she do? What does she do? What she does? Why does she do what she does? Thank you, Al. Mm -hmm. Hey, I appreciate you, my co host, my friend, my amiga. Uh, all this Ironically violence. enough, it mm -hmm. filmed a month after, three years prior to the actual release date, it, on stance. So that's a cool little <laughs> November oh. 26, 2019, 2 a.m. exactly. Okay. And, okay. and when when I tell you things start off on a high <laughs> for some people, I guess a low for others. Um, mm -hmm. It's nonstop. I don't think this book ever, even we were lucky enough to be able to read the whole first arc, and it never once lets up the intensity. Not at all. Not at all. Uh, yes. Uh, we were lucky enough to read uh, the first three issues, the first volume of Lovesick. We'll, we'll, we'll touch very, very briefly on issue two and three uh, in just a little bit. Um, more on issue one, though. We're here talking issue one. Uh, definitely more to the story and characters than simply what is seen on the surface. Uh, I can say we're given a look, a look into the disturbing disgusting, violent aspects uh, that humanity has to offer. Would you say that's, would you say that's fair, Al? Or, or you, you might be into this kind of stuff. You might be, you said, no, this is, this is normal. This is normal. Well, and this is this where, is and this is where I feel like we need to skip around a little bit because mm. I feel like it's very important to touch on, there's some back content to the first issue where she speaks on, just um, having to up the stakes when consuming content because once mm -hmm. you're satiated at one level, it's just going to go darker and darker and darker until you're basically sensitized, desensitized to it. And mm -hmm. so I think this is like one, I feel like this is a more digestible way of exploring that versus um, some other you know, uh, comics and, you know, movies and content about, uh, you know, the dark web and stuff because it's aesthetically, you know, <laughs> a lot more aesthetically pleasing. How It's still gory. It's still honestly revolting at times, but mm -hmm. the message that it's preaching is definitely strong. It's valid. It's something that I feel like, especially when you have kids, you're always worried about, especially when it comes to, you know, the internet and mm -hmm. consumption. And I just, I, I feel like there's a lot more to this book than meets the eye, like you said prior. Absolutely. Well, well, well put out. Um, yeah. And I think, I think despite, you know, I mean, because there, there's some heavy content in here, but like you said, it's, it's just so so aesthetically pleasing man it's just so nice nice to look at that uh i mean it, it sometimes it, it, you're reading this and, and maybe you're for well actually i shouldn't i shouldn't i should correct myself no <laughs> I, I mean you're gonna be you're gonna be blown away despite despite the art style um like is this is shocking this is some uh, some yeah. great stuff. Um, what you, what you made gold a, subscription level would you be? Would you be gold subscription tier or? Oh, I'm I'm doing I'm doing gold subscription all day every day, baby. <laughs> and listen. So in this uh, world, there's like basically what like a couple tiers where there's like the red room, which is like pin like ultimate. Then you have the um, snuff room, 
which would be what penultimate, I guess. And then you mm-hmm. have like the live streams, which are peasants. <laughs> mm-hmm. I, I can troll, but I can't really afford this. And I feel like uh, it's so funny because like it, it, and I guess that's reflective of society too, like where with trolls and people who just you know like to talk shit online. Um, there's always going to be somebody, and there's always going to be somebody who's willing to pay monetarily just to be able to talk shit regardless of where they stand just to be able to have a voice somewhere and so this story definitely touches a lot and defines you know in cell behavior um you know uh people who like to consider themselves on the outskirts of uh society (laughs) even though they're probably just you know um you know, living in mom's attic or whatever, but it's like, it's, it's not, not nothing you've never heard, but told in an extreme way, which isn't that extreme considering the years <laughs> that we're in now. Man, you, you, it's kind of, it's sounding like you, you, you're pretty familiar with a lot of this stuff. All this stuff was like, I had to do a deep dive after, right? Because I was like, what <laughs> no. are you doing all this stuff? And I definitely did didn't have to deep dive because I'm already and it, it's not that I'm even into it but just based mm-hmm. on um I do enjoy a certain type of true crime story and I do, so I am familiar with like a lot of stuff like you know red room stuff and snuff rooms stuff, okay. stuff movies stuff I'm not I I don't watch them it's just mm-hmm. it's disgusting but I am you, 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 I am familiar with the terminologies, and okay. I thought it was really cool how they even included like uh, definitions for some of the words mm-hmm. that um, mm-hmm. incels use. I thought that was really cool because I don't think everybody is going to uh, know offhand what that is, even if they are incels themselves. Um, <laughs> no, because I, mean, I, I promise you, there's going to be some of these people that are going to pick up the book just to have something to complain about i guarantee you and and i think that's also a credit to um you know luana and her writing that it's it's absolutely something that happens in society especially anything any anything that you can have a critic for you're going to have a critic for and there's going to be people who spend money on this book and then cry about the contents and i think that's just the nature of the beast at this point I mean, yeah, I mean, I think, I think it's like, a, you know, for sure, it's fair to say, like, like I said, everybody, you know, for re- for better, or for worse, you know, this, whatever their opinion is going to be like, people are going to be talking about this one. Uh, but I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for everybody to check this one out. Um, some, like, you know, despite the kind of some, some beautiful things in here, uh, you know, speaking <laughs> of, yeah, a couple of things, huh? <laughs> hey, listen, speaking of beauty, Luana is a master master in capturing the 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 sexiness mm-hmm. the beauty of a woman's body man i'm just gonna hey, i'm gonna say it straight up uh in all sizes because domino's all, girls all sizes all sizes domino's girls are all sizes and i i love it i think we can see them more uh, uh, right here right here in the background man, yeah uh i'm telling you man oh this is this is titillating without being sleazy in my opinion uh you know what i love if you go back to that first slide mm-hmm. oh, uh por favor uh the, so here the bottom left like i love i love luana's the, the 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 poses that she puts the characters in and even like the camera angles themselves like just mm-hmm. chef's kiss i mean i mean look at that i mean like i said this is like I'm getting, I'm getting hot in here, man. I'm sweating. Uh, and take it, just, take it, take it. you know what's so funny? You so not. This isn't a spoiler, but between us, mm-hmm. this is not a spoiler though. So you can leave it in. There is something mm-hmm. that comes out about one of like the background, 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 like fourth level characters mm-hmm. watching the per- watching the performances, the live performances. Yeah. And you know what's so funny is the prints. One of the prints that I have, two of them from her imprint shop has that person like you know as like a prop and it's so funny now after reading the series i'm just like oh no i have a fapper on my wall (laughs) so you made that connection (laughs) yeah (laughs) 
but, <laughs> and I said, I have the ultimate deviant. On my <laughs> Can we say that? I mean, hey, this is this is the red room fapper. <laughs> yeah. Fapper. Hey. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Uh, when I when I noticed oh, that, I fell out. I said, "Please don't be a weirdo. Please don't be a weirdo." Then it was like, "No, he's the ultimate weirdo." I said, "No." <laughs> he, he, he is. He is king weirdo. Um, Watching over me as I sleep every night. <laughs> breathing, breathing. <sighs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> some heavy breathing going on. Uh, hey, how how dope? How dope was the? Uh, was the distressed VHS uh, look that she applied to the to the artwork uh, during the Red Room, like yeah, right here during the Red Room uh, action oh. sequences? You know, mm -hmm. really, we really give more during the yeah, Red Yeah, you can room, see there the live stream. I, I love I love that effect because it gives mm -hmm. it gives the reader it gives us that that feeling of watching what's taking place well, through it, the lens. It, of Camera, yeah, know, again, it, it pleases the Great. voyeurism, right? Exhibitionism. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I, you know, yeah. I know you have that bookmarked. Uh, so it's like it just, it just, mm -hmm. <laughs> it just mm -hmm. taps into that. And again, like I was saying earlier, mm -hmm. like uh, speaking on what she spoke about in her back content, mm -hmm. it it comes to a point where I like watching people. Mm, mm -hmm. I like watching people naked. I like watching naked people doing stuff. I like watching naked people doing perverse stuff. And in order to please that, wow. like, yeah, in order to get that serotonin pump, and it's going to keep elevating and elevating and elevating yeah. until it becomes yeah. something so, um, you know, perverse from what it originally was that, you know, like, at what point is it too much? And so and I think that's a, one of the themes I love about this series. Absolutely. I think I got in my notes here. I said, I wrote down, I found myself asking, how far is too far? Is there even a limit, man? You know? Uh, it's like you said, you, you, you go down this dark kind of rabbit hole and it, and it takes more and more and more and more, mm -hmm. you know, to now, start. You now, know. just, mm -hmm. I'm curious as like, just take a step back. I'm just curious mm -hmm. as a parent. Mm -hmm. So before mm -hmm. I was a parent, I feel like, and I've been a parent a minute, like my oldest is 11. So like, well, I mean, I know you've been a parent. If, if, if I've been a parent a minute, you've been a parent an hour, but like, oh, no, no. <laughs> you're like, shh, shh, shh. Um, so before I was a parent, so I, I, f I feel like there I feel like I, I heard somebody call it like sympathetic parenting or something something like that mm -hmm. basically once you have kids your receptors for certain things change before I had kids I could watch super gory stuff I could watch hyper violent stuff like I had no measure for that the books I read were messed up you know the okay. content I consumed was messed up but after I had kids like Oh, it just really, like, even now, like, I know, like, like, Dahmer is out, right? And it's just, right. like, it kind of turns my stomach. Like, I don't really want to consume it. But before, I was reading the Encyclopedia of Serial Killers. You know what I mean? Mm. So so I feel like it's really interesting um, for this book, uh, particularly, um, just, like, you know, the age ranges of the people involved, right? And the people involved in this, most of them are men. And their age ranges, you know, for the incels, at least, we're talking, like, 18, 19-year-olds. Some young-ass characters in here, yeah. And then and then you have, like, the older men who I feel aren't necessarily incels, but maybe their their wives aren't who they thought they were, or they, they're not pleased, they're not... Like, they're, they're at that level where they need to one-up themselves constantly, mm. like I spoke on earlier, um, mm. in order... In terms of pleasure, right? And so... I just thought it was so interesting that and so just for like you as a parent it's like did that did any of that like alter the way you think because you know you have sons and it's like how susceptible are they to you know consume content where it seems exciting at first but then it's like whoa 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 time to take a step back <laughs> you, you know what in, in, in all honesty uh 
any anything else other that the thought did not come into my mind. I didn't want to even think about oh, okay. it. I was just kind of so sucked in yeah. <laughs> into this world that Luana has That's created fair. that I, I was like fully, fully I was in the zone. For, I forgot everything. I forgot about everything else. Uh, actually, I haven't left my house in, in, in three days. I haven't bathed. I yeah. haven't showered. Well, we <laughs> I've been, I, mm, Hold I, on, I can only imagine what's going what's gonna to happen <laughs> once I get <laughs> those physical copies. Get, you know, you said imagine. sheets are still sticky. Oh, my. We're talking sticky. <laughs> we're talking <laughs> sticky. Um, can we talk on the art a little bit? Um, For sure. I, I enjoyed... I enjoyed. No, we didn't. We didn't incl include all the all the panels here because we didn't want to spoil too much for you. Um, but she's Luana's great at uh, switching up the the color palette and the filters that she applies uh, throughout um, to to very good effect. Uh, like you can see here, I think it's the next panel. There's like a there's this nice mechanical green filter for like the dungeon area of this underground club, which is very fitting. Uh, there's the the blood orange filter uh, during the the red room sequences. Mm -hmm. Again, very fitting, which I thought was great. So you know she's doing she's doing some some really fun stuff with the with the artwork. And then not only that, you know I think uh, she does very well at uh, at conveying you know uh, you know the subtle facial expressiveness, right? Um, Oh, we're definitely in sad girl hours here. Mm. <laughs> she might be the only, yeah, the only sad dominatrix. <laughs> uh, out, out, uh, outwardly, you know. Usually they'll put on a front and be angry mm -hmm. or mean. I guess. I mean, I, I assume. I'm not sure. I've never had one. Mm. But uh, mm. and mm. Luana mm -hmm. touches on this later on in back content. Like, like yeah, she's a sad dominatrix. Um, but that's great, and that's what that's. I was so I was just getting to that. Yeah, I mean, like she's really like you can see clearly. There's a there's a pain, there's a sadness behind the eyes of of Domino, right? Um, so you know, just conveying that emotion uh, really well. I thought, yeah, I mean, this is love. Love sick. Love sick was wild, man. I don't know. Um, I'm all in straight up. Uh, yeah. I know, I know for a fact you've been all in. Uh, oh, for sure. And I love how it plays with your own psych, too, because, you know, the incels are trying to convince inadvertently or advertently. They're trying to convince, you know, the reader, like, oh, she's a mother demon. She's a demon. She's mm -hmm. a this, she's a that. And she's just existing to us as a reader. And so I like the idea of playing with who are you going to believe? Are you going to believe everybody else or are you going to believe me, <laughs> uh, Domino? Like, you know, trust me, it's me. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I love how that's kind of played with throughout the series, too. It's like, is she just a dominatrix? Is she something more than a dominatrix? And it never is, you know, confirmed or denied anything either way. And I think it lends itself to the overall... Um, you know, character of Domino. Like, there's so much I want to know about her. I feel like we learned some, but I feel like there's just, I want to know everything. I want to know about all of her girls. You know, I want to know about, I want to know about the, the, the incels. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> How did you guys get to this point? And so I think, I think, and that's, a, again, a credit to her writing. I'm, I'm invested. I'm in. Um, mm -hmm. Give mm -hmm. us a hundred arcs. I'm down. Give us a hundred covers for each arc. I'm in. The, uh, put uh, put hey. me in debt, Domino, basically. Okay. 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 Hey, I'm not. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at you. So you asked me earlier what what subscription level I was at. I said straight up, I'm I'm gold. But I didn't. So what 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 level you at? Huh? I, I so this is how I feel. If I'm good. I'm going to be real with you. I would have mm -hmm. to go full on sad girl hours. Guess what, bitch? I'm Red Room. Because, listen, <laughs> because I feel like Snuff is like, no. Red Room, there's rumors that Domino might be doing some things if you're on that level. If you get chosen for that 
level and yeah, live stream yeah. i would not want to go out being a live stream subscriber you know what i mean like a free subscriber mm -hmm. no thank you mm -hmm. i don't want to go out with people being like oh she broke <laughs> <laughs> a petty live stream live stream but nah. yeah we gotta, we gotta go it. for more something here man full, your, full line um, simping full what line simping your, yeah. what would your red room username be <laughs> My red room, oh, I, you're putting me on this. I have to come up with some real though. I can't answer now because I will come up with some sick, some sick, twisted, and demented. Please believe, man. Oh, man. So it's and not it, just this is the real Sergio. No, 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 I can't. You can't put out your government name like that, man. No, no. You want people to know you here? Yeah. Yo, this is this is for the the. Full on degeneracy. I can't. I can't put my my, my government name. Just like the Twitter that. circle. The Twitter. That, that, that's beyond Twitter circle. <laughs> oh, man. Beyond. Hey, you know what? Before we move on, uh, there was a scene in in issue one. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was the countdown to the to the next Red Room performance. Mm -hmm. And and L, when I tell you, I'm not even exaggerating my my heart started like just beating rapidly in anticipation i found yo my my palms were getting clammy and i'm like yo what's 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 going on here i don't i don't know if i've ever had that kind of a a reaction um but this is again all credit to luana man uh this is what this book does to uh does to you man uh it's going to it's going to it's going to get you excited <laughs> to say it, it did for me it did for me. Um, well, you know, it doesn't take yeah. much. No, um, no. Quite so... the opposite. Like, <laughs> it, 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 my my levels they're, they're like way beyond it takes. Oh, like, you're it, you're it, at it, a like, level of perverseness where it takes yeah. a lot now. <laughs> it's, it's disgusting. Man. You know, when mm -hmm. I die, please no Pornhub. Oh, geez, cut that out. <laughs> uh oh, <laughs> cut that in. <laughs> um, oh, hey, so... hey, here. Uh, do we have do we have all uh, some of uh, these great variant covers for for issue number one and two? I and have two, a feeling yeah. you know we do. Mm. I have a on. feeling. So oh, this is the first set of uh, covers, the A, B, and D covers for Lovesick number one. FOC is Monday, so you guys still have time to put in your pre-orders for these. Um, here is the next set, the C and E cover. The C is a wraparound, which is shut up, kiss. The oh E, God. think of all the creepy stuff you could put here. Think of all the perverse. Oh, uh oh, we might have to pay for a commission of Sergito in the red room here <laughs> for, the, for the cover for the E blank cover. Uh, I uh, might no hey, lie. Uh, you're, giving, you're giving me ideas. I might have to I, have the for a commission. Uh, we might have to do yeah. a House of Nerd cover where my girls <laughs> are murdering you. No shade. Oh, it's part God. of the story. Hey. Hey. <laughs> and here we have the <laughs> FG and H, Maria Lovett, Mirka and Dolfo, mm. and Jim Mafu. And I have to say, I have to say, I mm. feel like Luana, I don't want to say we're like kindred souls or anything, but when I tell you, I said, because let me tell you, Sergio can attest to this. I purchased prints from Lovesick time ago, long time mm -hmm. ago. And I was just obsessed with the art. I was obsessed with the idea of Domino. I miss, it was after Comixology, but before, you know, any ARCs or anything for Lovesick. And mm -hmm. in my head, I'm just like, my trifecta is Luana, Mirka, and Maria. And when I saw the cover artist for this, the guest cover artist, perfection. Like, who else? You know what I mean? Perfect. Perfection. And they're disgustingly good. Like, I fucking love them. Oh, yeah. And yeah. then we have the 616 exclusives. Jay Ferguson on the left. Suspiria mm -hmm. on the right. And mm -hmm. you can get this in a bundle with the A cover for $40. Or you can just get these two for forty dollars, or each one for twenty five. But like, okay. why would you not just get the forty dollar three cover pack? Yeah, for sure, for um, sure. And we we've we've seen some some of our mutuals out there. They're already grabbing these these bundles and these mm -hmm. these dope variant covers, man. Uh, 
Yeah. And then we, this we have this uh, lovesick <laughs> Manhunter homage okay. from like Rockstar Games. I don't know if any of you guys played, but Shep, perfection. Perfection. And then we have the Economics and Comics exclusive cover on the right. Um, these are like $20 a piece, I believe. Okay. Yeah. You, you know, I'm not, I'm not, admittedly, I'm not huge into like that animated anime style, but that one on the right is some about it. Just, mm, I love it. It's I, great. I posted these and my sister in law was like, who makes the bras on the right? Because I need cups like that. And <laughs> I said, listen, I'm, I'm not <laughs> even mad about it. <laughs> <laughs> not even oh, not man. can't even be mad about it because listen we could all use a little bit more support so yeah the manhunt homage is by mark hammer hammermeister and the one on the right is by michael mccomb mm -hmm. and uh yeah so oh and then we have and those are store exclusive so you can you know you guys can only get them from here and we have some of the number two covers the a b c which are Luana, and then we have the Danny E, which comes in three colorways. Yeah. Wow. And the little piglets. Stop it. It's so good. And listen, oh. you guys, I'm telling you this here now. If Sergio doesn't acquire all three for me, out of here. All three hey. Dannys, all three colorways for cover price. <laughs> cover, cover price. No, ma'am, ma'am, madam, madam. And <laughs> also, don't forget that you can get original prints and framed art by Luana at her imprint shop. Yeah. Um, and Check I'm a customer. Out. I've bought her prints before. It's quality shit. Like, it's not, it's fantastic. Like, yeah. top tier. Yeah, I can't stop staring at this Danny cover. That's mint. It's so good. Mint. It's so good. It's so good. Um, we mentioned that we had we have uh we were lucky enough to read uh the complete first art issues two and three. I'm not gonna tell you much. What uh, what I can say is uh if issue one was the tease, uh the peek into into the darkness, so to speak, then issue two is the full on descent into madness. Uh, oof, you guys are gonna, man, if you love issue one, mm -hmm. you're gonna go wild over issue number two. Uh, mm -hmm. And then issue number three uh, offers up a, a twist that really ratchets up this, this, this craziness that uh, Luana is creating. Uh, I'm, honestly, man, I'm so excited. For everybody to check out these uh these books man uh, you guys buckle in you're in for a ride yeah yeah um, yeah number three definitely is like capital wtf <laughs> <laughs> capital oh. and oof and even number two like it's definitely like it like we said earlier it doesn't let up in intensity at all like it just gets yeah. more intense mm -hmm. yeah uh so up. Again, folks, FOC, Monday, October the 3rd. The book drops Wednesday, October 26th. Don't be left in the dust. Make sure you pre-order these bad boys. Uh, you're going to dig it. You're going to dig it. Um, I think, uh, did you have Did you have any closing closing thoughts, Elle? Um, Just that you're not going to hear me stop talking about this until mm -hmm. <laughs> it's over because I'm like I'm like I'm like pumped to talk about especially after number three and it's like killing me that it's going to be like December before you know we're able to like fully discuss this um, as mm -hmm. a whole because there's so many mm -hmm. like themes and you know tropes and stuff that I would love to get into but I definitely want to wait until you know a as many people as possible have had a chance to you know read this oh you know yeah for sure we're gonna we're gonna talk about it during our weekly Sunday uh shows when these issues drop man get into a little bit a little bit more detail folks lovesick will rip your heart out of your chest with one heel on your throat, and you know what? You're uh, you're gonna be begging, begging for more, man. Uh, is that good? Is that good? Um, 
close it out as as Domino would say, uh, pick up Lovesick and enjoy enjoy the show, baby. I think that's it. Thank you everybody for for tuning into this advanced review of Lovesick number one, Monday, October the third, FOC. Make sure you pre-order with your LCS, your plugs, all that good stuff. Thank you guys for tuning in. And uh, if you're digging what we're doing, please hit that thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Comment, let us know what you think about the review um, and what you think about the book when it drops. Yeah, yeah. Hell, are we out of here? Mm -hmm. All right, folks. Have a good night. <laughs>